Hi, my friends. Good morning to you in Warsaw. Good, after t good afternoon to you in America. Um, I'm Wing Cavalier. I'm along with my test subject, Black Wolf 4321. We're going to be doing another weapons guy on the Brett 50 Cal in my default zone, Sea Town. Now, Black Wolf and I, this is our second weapons guide. I feel like he's going to be like a, like a good permanent test subject. Working a lot better than having to do it with my with myself or using another remote. <laughs> anyway, he's going. He and I are going to show you what not to do and what to do with the Brett 50 cal, <laughs> and all the attachments, perks, the backup gun, the lethal and tactical grenades. And now he's going to locate me, and well, I'm going to locate him really. And he's going to pick a shotgun class, the sniper's primary enemy. Alright, located, I believe I have him. Oh my god, he blew himself up with a C4. Wow. <laughs> hey, we're still a little rusty here, you know. Oh, found him. I almost pulled the trigger there, force of reflex. Anyway, um, now what he's going to do, he's going to stand and camp right here. He's going to stand in camp right here waiting for me to come. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate what you would never do with the Brett 50 Cal. He's looking this way. Oh wow, I didn't... <sighs> wow, that was that was a result of rust. I didn't even tell him to do anything. He wasn't supposed to shoot. I was just demonstrating where he was going to look. But alright then, <laughs> I guess that can count as what you do not do because I was going to basically do that anyway. I was going to basically charge right into him. Now, I'm going to show you what to do if you're trying to strafe up on your enemy here. Strafe, meaning meaning aim down your sights. See, look, quick and clean. And then, look, now, I love the tactical insertion. Anyway, now what he's going to do is he's going to take a sniper class, and, oh, it appears he's already has a sniper, and he's going to he's gonna follow me, and we are going to go, oh, wow, he just blew himself up again. Damn it, Black Wolf. And he and he and I are going to show you what to do and what not to do. Barrette 50 Cal versus Sniper. Alright. I've located him. He is going to go up there. And... Alright, apparently he's not listening. Oh, no, no. I know why he killed himself. He, he killed himself because he didn't have a Sniper class. Alright, then. Ladies and gentlemen, now this is what to do. There's really no two ways about what to do against the sniper with a Barrett 50 cal. There's really no two ways. You just simply fight fire with fire, and he's crouching real low, and I'm gonna probably miss here. Yep. And now the sniper's the primary tactic, and then he just raises his head for oh one second too long. Now I'm going to show you how to fight a quick. Oh, and then he comes back from the dead. Un unasked for Black Wolf, unasked for. He's very rusty today. It's just a, it's just no big deal. Now I'm going to show you how to fight that quick scope battle. He's going to come down here, and I'm going to fight that quick scope battle with him. Now he is using an L118A, the worst gun in the game for quick scoping that plays to the Barrett 50 cal's advantage. Now I'm going to come out here, and he's not going to shoot j just yet. I'm going to tell him when to shoot. What now? How you would start a fight? Locate your foe. I'm doing this in slow motion here. I would toss that grenade. He just notices. Stuck with Semtex. Car just gets destroyed. All right. Now, what you would not do with that? You. All right. I'm going to lay my scrambler right here, even though it's irrelevant. Now I'm going to try and quick scope him. The last thing you should do. There are three, two ways you can do this. One way you do not. I'm going to try and quick scope him now. And then boom. See, that's so simple. The sniper in that's not in motion can easily take out the sniper in motion. Remember that. That is like the sniper's prey. He's going to remain there. Now, I am, I have catch, caught him in my reticle. It's really no two ways about this. Boom. That's how you would do it. Now, I'm, now that I've shown you that, typical kill streak number one. UAV. You want to know where your points are so they're not sneaking up on you and killing you now. Uh... All right, now um, now you also I'm going to kill Black Wolf one time and show you the other attachment. Now you want the counter UAV so that you can have 
that so that you can have other players not know where you are. Now, what my part partner's gonna do? He's going to pick an, uh, an assault rifle class, whatever he so chooses. He probably picks the ACR 6.8 because he's notorious for that. And now I see he's picked it. I want my partner to jump if he's picked the ACR 6.8. All right, now. Now, I'm, he's going to follow me, and we're going to go to the most typical camping place in this map of Seatown, which has become my default for weapons guides. It's really got everything you need. The sniper tower. Oh, he has the M4 carbine. My mistake. And he's going to stand right here. Oh, he's, much, he's far behind me. He probably was far behind me sending that message to me. All right. I'm probably going to have to locate him again. Oh well, no big deal. All right. I, I wonder if that puts me on the mini map. If it does, I've located my friend, my partner. Now he's gonna follow me. He's going to follow me to the most typical camping place in the game. And this is how you would normally. There are two ways you could deal with an assault rifle. There is one way you would never. Now he is going to he's going to stand right here and I'm going to show you what you the way you don't do it. Now the way you don't do it. Now I'm just would pretend I'm running down the hallway. I catch wind of some guy inside there and I'm going in for the kill. Now he is going to kill me now. Now that would be how you would not do it. This quick scoping the at the M4A1 carbine in particular eats that crap up. Now I'm going to go locate my partner again. I know where he is. And now I'm going to show you way number one you deal with it. Now he does not expect me to come from that way. And I'm, I'm going to surprise him with a series of moves. Now that would be... Actually, now that I think about it, there's two, three ways you could deal with this. Now that is way number one. This is going to be way number two of how you deal with this with your secondary gun, and this is going to be way number three of how you deal with this. Just quickly, quietly, strafe. You missed that one shot, you could be deadly, but thankfully, I was able to recover. Now, he's more than likely going to spawn right there. Now, this, now that's really about it. Now I'm going to talk about weapon attachments and, and perks and stuff we should have, and and now, <laughs> oh, the irony. Anyway, you should have the Sleight of Hand Pro to switch your weapon in case you get caught up in an assault rifle fight. If your sniping position has been hunted down, which, by the way, you need to establish your sniping position quickly. You should have Sitrep Pro to detect the expl to detect explosives, and you should you should have Assassin Pro because remember, like I said, you want to be as non-detected as possible. And for kill streaks, you want to have the UAV, the counter UAV, and SAM turret. The UAV so you know where your opponents are, the counter so they don't know where you are, and the SAM turret because aircraft su air support can be a real pain in the ass for a sniper. If you have the SAM turret, you can pretty much easily avoid that issue. For lethal grenade, I would recommend the Semtex because it's better than the frag grenade and better than the throwing knife. Really, I don't know why they put the throwing knife in the game. It's pretty much just for the game of Infected. I mean, there's virtually no point to it otherwise. For for tactical grenade, or tactical weapon, I should call it, because it's not a grenade, I would put in the scrambler like I've already demonstrated. And... Oh, my friend's being stupid now. Now I'm going to demonstrate the use of the Semtex grenade here. You know, I have... I have... I have strafe... No, not strafe. What's the word? Um... I have I have found where he is. He must have moved, but now I have an idea of where he is headed. Anyway, the leaf the scrambler is another is something that can count. It's like a mini counter UAV. It prevents people from knowing where you are, basically. Um, your your backup weapon, as I have displayed, should be your FMG9. Because it's a decent automatic that can deal weapons, that can deal damage, pretty simple, and my friend has, and if you want to, you should all, I would recommend picking up the, the high tech, the high tech 
um, I, the high tech, uh, ad, uh, ah, god, I can't talk today. I would pick up the high tech automatics you can find on the ground. Also, uh, if you don't want the SAM turret, the ba a good deep backup suggestion would be the advanced UAV because it does that. It, ba it lets you know where enemies are and, and crap. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. The M64 is not meant for the thermal scope anyway. It's like it would be good for a sniper, really. I mean, I'm a good, I'm an all right sniper. I've tried it before, not, not without, not with much success. Yep. That's how you do it with the FMG9. I'm going to be having an episode later on with the FMG9. Up next, my friends, I am going to be covering the SMAW. I hope that you're all ready for that. It'll be the first time I cover a secondary weapon. I'm Wing Cavalier, along with my faithful test subject, Black Wolf 4321. Let's see this awesome-ass kill. Yeah, I love the FMG9. It's such an underrated gun. Anyway... I'm out, folks, and I, we will both see you later, and up next is, you know it, the 100th Gun Special. I'm out.